The Coming Anarchy, Shattering the Dreams of the Post-Cold War, 2000, is a book by American journalist Robert D. Kaplan, based on his influential article originally published in 1994 in the Atlantic Monthly. Kaplan's central thesis, explored in both the article and the book, challenges the prevailing belief that the post-Cold War era would usher in an unprecedented era of global peace. Instead, Kaplan argues that the weakened nation-states following the Cold War would render most countries ill-equipped to address the challenges of the future, particularly environmental scarcity. Upon its publication, President Bill Clinton reportedly recommended Kaplan's article to his staff, recognizing its diagnostic value in understanding the issues confronting the post-Cold War global structure. Kaplan's focus on West Africa plays a significant role in elucidating these problems. He asserts that West Africa has become a microcosm of global demographic, environmental, and societal strains, with criminal anarchy emerging as the true strategic danger. Kaplan highlights the convergence of disease, overpopulation, unchecked crime, resource scarcity, refugee migrations, the erosion of nation-states and borders, as well as the rise of private armies, security firms, and international drug cartels, through the lens of West Africa. For instance, he points to Sierra Leone, where the government has lost control over large portions of the country. Similar situations exist in neighboring Guinea, Liberia, and the Ivory Coast, with porous borders that have rendered functional sovereignty impossible. Tribal and regional divisions have usurped the authority of central governments, plunging these countries into pre-modern chaos, hindering their ability to maintain basic infrastructure, combat deadly diseases, and contain warlords. Kaplan's work serves as a thought-provoking examination of the challenges faced by post-Cold War nations. Using West Africa as a vivid illustration of the complex issues arising from societal, environmental, and political upheavals, Kaplan proceeds to outline the major calamities that pose a threat to the world in the coming decades, presenting them in order of their severity. He begins with environmental scarcity, which he identifies as the foremost national security issue of the early 21st century. The depletion of resources and the rise of sea levels in densely populated regions will trigger large-scale migrations, both within and across borders, leading to violent conflicts between disparate groups on a global scale. Taking a broader geopolitical perspective, Kaplan cites political scientist Thomas Fraser Homer Dixon, who highlights countries such as Indonesia, Brazil, and Nigeria as potential sources of increased aggression on the world stage due to their relatively strong military capabilities coupled with the impending risk of resource shortages. Moving on, Kaplan addresses the second major challenge facing the world, cultural and racial clashes. Drawing extensively from Samuel P. Huntington's influential essay, The Clash of Civilizations, Kaplan observes a shift in the nature of global conflicts. He argues that conflicts have transitioned from those primarily driven by ideology or between nation-states to conflicts between different cultures, even within the boundaries of a single country. As refugee flows continue to surge and rural populations migrate to urban centers worldwide, transforming them into sprawling communities, the significance of national borders diminishes. Simultaneously, power increasingly falls into the hands of less educated and less sophisticated groups. Kaplan suggests that, for these newly empowered millions, the most palpable and intractable borders lie within the realms of culture and tribe. Additionally, Kaplan delves into what he terms the lies of geography, exploring how geographical factors can shape the course of history. Geography, he argues, has often been erroneously downplayed or underestimated in geopolitical analysis. Factors such as natural barriers, access to resources, and strategic locations exert profound influences on the development and destiny of nations. By dissecting these critical challenges and examining their potential implications, Kaplan provides a sobering assessment of the threats facing the world. His analysis underscores the urgent need for proactive measures and global cooperation to address these complex issues and ensure a more secure and harmonious future. According to Kaplan, maps fail to depict slums or areas where state control has been relinquished to guerrillas and organized crime. He argues that borders, as portrayed on world maps, are a product of Western perspectives rooted in colonialism, serving the purpose of deluding Western leaders into a false sense of control over the rest of the world. Placing our faith in maps to understand global stability disregards the existence of stateless groups like the Kurds 
who effectively control the Iran-Turkey border, despite not officially belonging to either country. Stateless people possess a unique ability to destabilize nation-states as they are depicted on maps. Kaplan further explores what he terms a new kind of war. Here, he focuses not on tactics or technologies, but on the motivations behind conflict. He highlights that a significant portion of the global population, unfamiliar with the comforts and stability of a middle-class life, view war and a military existence as a step up rather than a step down. For these individuals, fighting is not merely a means to an end, but an end in itself. Drawing on historical lessons, Kaplan refers to the Thirty Years' War in Europe, 1618 to 1648, as an instructive example. During this conflict, numerous factions loosely aligned based on politics or religion engaged in warfare, resulting in the deaths of millions, including many non-combatants killed by mercenaries. The war blurred the boundaries between war and crime, leading to a deeply disheartening calamity. While some aspects of the coming anarchy may be outdated, particularly regarding the unforeseen rise of global digital communication, Kaplan's warnings remain highly relevant. His insights serve as a poignant reminder of the complex challenges our world continues to face. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.